Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I'm going to go through a quick tutorial on how to make simple um, SVGs in Photop, which is a free online Photoshop tool where you can actually export your files directly. You don't have to bounce back in between several different websites and you can save it in several different files. So. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick document here. And I'm going to do 600 by 600 pixels at 300 dpi with a transparent background. Um, I'm just going to go do something simple. You can just go ahead and do text in here if you want. And you do have the ability to load your own fonts in here and I'll show you how I accomplish that because I use like the same type of fonts but I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this shamrock file that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna duplicate this into so to bring another file into your the file you're working into, you right click on it, click duplicate into, and then the file you're working in. And you can click on to make sure when this is layer is selected click on transform controls if it is too big make sure that your aspect ratio is kept and I'm going to drop that down to 50 percent now I have to find it gosh darn it there it is. It looks like it's still too big. So I'm just going to drop it down another 50%. And I'm just going to drag this into the middle. And then I'm going to click down here on my type tool. Now, I already do have some fonts loaded in here. Um, Uncle Grump is one of my faves, but I'll go ahead and load in Bro Andy. Um, I do have my fonts folder saved on my quick access, so I could just click and I know exactly what font I'm looking for. And I can just take this and I can drag it in. And you can see that it is loaded in. And now I can search for that. And now that will be text. I'm going to set my size fairly big, 1,000 pixels, so that it shows up. And make sure that my background color here is set to black, which it already is. And click anywhere on the canvas. Oh, Lord, that is huge. Okay. <laughs> that's not going to work is it let's try that again let me half that down to 400 I was working in a big, bigger canvas earlier this is probably going to be too big as well that's okay um, Sometimes you just got to play around with it a little bit. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and drag this into the center. And literally, like, that's all I have to do. Um, the one last step is you're going to go to your text. You're going to right click on it. And you're just going to click convert to shape. And that way, when you convert it to an SVG, you will actually get the cut lines around the letters. And you can see that by control clicking, it'll highlight. Okay, so one thing that, that sucks about this is 
there isn't really a simple way if you're going to be layering if you're doing two colors like this to subtract this black text layer with the colored layer but I'm going to show you how to do that in Silhouette Studio and Design Space and it's a really quick step so if you're making these for yourself you could just go through the extra step if you're planning on making a profit off of these um, you may just want to take it into another program to accomplish that like Inkscape so you can click here and go to export as SVG and you can see that this shows up and you have your width and your height set um, I don't mess with any of these um, I'm just gonna click Save and it's gonna go ahead and save down here so I already have studio open so I'm just gonna go and open that file and you can see um, it is here I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it. You can see that they are both attached. Now, if you just send this as it is, and I'll show you what that looks like, you can see that it's just going to slice right through your letter. So what you're going to do is you're going to select both of those layers, and you're just going to click on Subtract All. And what that's going to do is it's going to subtract that text so that way you can layer. And now when you click send, you can see that that's all cut out. So there's studio. Go ahead and cut to your heart's content. I'm going to do the same thing in design space. Um, here, I'm going to have to upload my file. So I'm just going to click on upload image, browse, and I'm going to open it up. Now, design space is weird. It will show everything up in black. Um, then that's fine. Just click on save and then go ahead and open that up. Okay, so I was messing around with this earlier and it just threw it on my last canvas. So I'm just going to recolor. You'll see it's in two different layers. One is the text layer and one is the um, shamrock layer. And I'm just going to recolor the text so that you can see it. I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Now, we're going to do the same process that we did over in Silhouette Studio, except you're going to select, ungroup both of the layers, and then you're going to select them both, and you're going to click on Slice, and it is going to slice everything out. Now, you can see that it is cut away the black on the inside that we do not want. So we're going to just go ahead and, and delete this. And now you can see. And then we're going to take our words and we're going to click the green part and we're going to click weld. And that's going to combine your words back together where it was sliced. So you're not seeing those weird lines. And we're back to our original shape. Now when you take the words away, whoop, you have um, the cut. And you see I did this backwards before I had the shamrock green and the words black. And now <laughs> I have it backwards. And that's fine. Um, and then you can go ahead and send it to your machine. Um, and you'll see that it's going to cut your words out and your shamrock if you're looking to layer. Now, if you're just doing a print and cut, you don't have to go through all that step um, because you're just literally printing and cutting. So subtracting that background doesn't make a difference. But if you are using it to cut a file, then that's what you're going to have to do. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know below. I use PhotoP for a lot of different things because I stopped paying for the Photoshop monthly membership for a while. I just wasn't using it nearly as much as I'm using Studio, so it just wasn't lucrative for me to pay for that. Um, and I've learned quite a lot of tricks, and it's very powerful for a free online tool. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Drop a comment below. And again, if you like this video, please click subscribe. 
let me know some of the things that you want to see. I'm all about growth in teaching people this year. So I hope everybody has a great night.